Right then, I think we just crack straight on, shall we, into our next event. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the re-scramble. Right then, the re-scramble. Talk us through it, Eric. What happens here? What are we going to be witnessing? So the players will get uh, a cube, um, like a second cube that they can actually mix up with, or they can uh, try to match the pattern in 2D, which is displayed in the app. Um, we'll probably not have the first option uh, in next season. So they will uh, get the, uh, the pattern on the app, and then 15 seconds of inspection again, and they will have to try to match this exact pattern, which is uh, very prone to errors. Now, like you said, this is different. This isn't um, a standard for the um, WCA. This is, um, it's kind of a bit unique to Red Bull, actually, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Most people would maybe know it as Match the Scramble. Uh, we actually renamed it to be Rescramble. And we've been uh, doing these uh, game modes uh, since the first time in Boston 2018. And uh, we will actually start with our dub our back-to-back -back, um, defending champion, Ricky Myler, who has uh, specialized since the very first minute that we announced this game mode. So uh, I'm really excited if he uh, could do uh, a triple header here. So what you're saying, getting a bit of cheeky practicing. Well, let's take a look at the brackets now. Let's get up the competitors and see what road they battled through to get to the semi-finals. You talk there about Ricky Myler. He's going to be facing up against Manuel Gutman from Argentina. And then on the yeah, that's right. So uh, Manuel won uh, two to zero against Victor uh, Victor Kalmar from Austria in the previous round, while uh, Ricky uh, actually lost uh, his first of the matches uh, against Harsh from India. But then he uh, he won the next two, so uh, he was actually um, facing match point there. But he well managed to uh, to beat Harsh after all. Yeah, just maybe he had off. some nerves in the in in the first uh, battle. Yeah. And then on the right side, you can see Dmitry Aniskin from Russia won all three there. And of course, Chris Mills won all three coming into the semi-finals. Chris Mills representing the UK. Shoot, that's one of my yeah. boys, man. I should be cheering him on, shouldn't I? That's coming up a little bit. Yeah, you should. Okay. So here we go then. It's time for semi-finals number one. Now, Eric, it's worth noting the times are slower in this event, aren't they? Uh, we'll see, actually. I think uh, Manuel uh, has uh, very good chances of, of actually winning this. He was uh, the fastest by far in the seeding round. Um, and he uh, actually clocked in sometimes below 20 seconds. So Manuel Gutmann on the left, of course, uh, he, uh, he won the third qualifier, the digital qualifier. He only solves uh, normally on red. And he's the current WSA world champion in solving Rubik's Cubes blindfolded. Wow. And of course, on the right side, we have Ricky Myler, our back-to-back -back re scramble champion. Um, he really has specialized in this event. He's not particularly world class in any of the other classical yeah. World Cube Association uh, events, but he certainly has uh, a knack for rescramble. Uh, yeah, so here's what you actually see. You can see the pattern that you have to match there on the screen. So it's a 2D visualization of a cube, but they can also have a second cube, which they have uh, scrambling instructions for, and then uh, they can match it. I think they. Uh, We'll use that second opportunity here, because it's much easier to visualize a 3D cube than uh, by looking at it 2D. Although I think, in theory, it should even be better to look at the 2D picture, because you don't really have to pick up your second cube there. Oh wow, Ricky takes the first one. I didn't really expect that to happen. Yeah, a huge pause in the middle for uh, Manuel. Yeah, maybe you made it a little mistake. So the, the method that Manuel is using is uh, prone to, uh, to errors because he uses a blindfolded method, which means that he uh, sir, first solves all edges or first all of the corners. Um, and if you make a mistake in it, it's quite hard to track where your mistake was. So uh, Ricky's method is a bit more robust, I would say. Right. 
I'm not really sure if his method is uh, is move wise more efficient or not. We can uh, actually have a look at that. Have you uh, have you seen uh, how many moves uh, Ricky took in the first one? No, I didn't. I didn't see it. I'm not going to lie. My computer screen is a little bit fuzzy. I think it's cheap internet here where we are. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I can tell you something I can right. see, and that is the poll prediction over there. You guys think that this is 50... Well, you think it's dead evens. It's 50-50 in the poll. So let's just see. Yeah. So um, I would say, actually, coming back to that previous statement, I think Ricky's uh, move count is quite similar to uh, the normal moves move count that we have for solving cubes, which is about 60... 60 to 70 moves, but then maybe adding some because he does the last layer in four steps. Uh, maybe about 80, so we'll see uh, what happens here. You can, you can see by the rockets how many of the pieces are actually solved, or the maximum amount of pieces that have been solved up to that moment. So you can see that Ricky is slightly ahead. Let's see who takes this. Uh, Manuel takes... Oh, at least this right there. Oh, really close here. Yes. Ooh. Wow. I really did not expect this. Ricky Myler takes it actually with two to nothing after Manuel put such amazing times in for the seeding round. Um, wow. I, I certainly did not expect this. This is uh, this is quite exciting. Uh, I think the times were not really good, so uh, Manuel must have made some uh, some mistakes in that uh, the blindfolded method that he uses, um, and uh, maybe he couldn't really keep his cool uh, together in uh, in these exciting battles. I know. I'm, I'm like a bit. Well, for one, I just I'm just absolutely mind blown by how amazing these guys are. But yeah, you're absolutely right. That was. Uh, I think it was all on Ricky there. He was. He looked absolutely visually shocked himself. Uh, vis visually shocked, excuse me. Um, well, so there we go, Ricky Myler, two to nothing. He advances through to the final. Um, Bacardi Inspiration 59 wants to know how the number of turns are measured, but we will hold that for the minute as we go into semi-final number two. Dimitri Anaskin up against Chris Mills of the UK. All righty. So Dimitri is actually our runner-up for this event last year. So he came in, uh, he came in second. Uh, Chris Mills, who uh, actually competed in all of the Red Bull uh, qualification, uh, no, not not even all qualifications, but he actually uh, participated in, in all the Red Bull finals so far. And he actually earned the nickname Rescramble Mills, which he actually doesn't really like himself. <laughs> So Chris, he, uh, he qualified by winning our first digital qualifier, so he's also really good at speed cubing mixed, which was the only event that we had for the digital qualifier. And uh, yeah, Ben didn't really have to qualify because he, uh, he earned a wild card by, by uh, being on the podium. Um, yeah, and in the previous round, Dimitri won against Ben Barron. Ben Barron, who unfortunately is not among our semi-finalists for speed cubing mixed because he did some really good times, so he had to... He really had what it took to uh, to get here, but he didn't actually make it. So they're off. Um, I think they're both using the same method. So that is the method that Ricky also uses. So it's uh, quite similar to uh, solving normally. So he doesn't do the blindfolded method. Ooh, and Chris is already done. Yeah. Yeah, he's happy about that. Yeah, Chris, that, it, that was, that was, again, really tight. Both guys using, like you said, using both methods, both the visualization and also putting the scramble into that second cube that they have. But Chris Mills draws first blood, so here we go. He's at match point as we go into the second matchup of the semifinals. Dimitri Anaskin has got, uh, well, he's got a lot to do now. Yeah, but he certainly has the, the stuff that it takes to, to get back because he had some uh, really good times in the previous rounds. I think the last round that he won against Ben, he did two solves of 20 seconds, which is uh, really good for this event. My personal best is only 37. And I was really happy about that. So, uh, yeah. And uh, Chris, I think he can actually do some sub-20 solves, but uh, he also tends to be...
bit inconsistent because uh, uh, his average time for the seeding round was actually 37 seconds as well um, so um, we'll see what he does well what a time to uh, find form a little bit behind here let's just see yeah, this is gonna be a close one Chris seems to be ahead a little bit but it's really neck and neck Oh, it's like, yeah. Dimitri taking his uh, his first battle here, his first point. It's one all. Yeah. How would you say uh, full house? Uh, all the plates are filled. Uh, full, full. Uh, we, we, we tried to touch on the baseball analogy yesterday, didn't we? I can't remember what it is. Base is loaded. That's it. <laughs> all bases Base loaded. Is loaded. <laughs> well, I can tell you that Chris is ahead in the polls. So the audience, they're thinking that Chris has still got this. But with one apiece, we'll have to wait and see as we go into this third and final best of battle in the re-scramble. Semi-final two, Dimitri Aniskin up against Chris Mills. Chris, of course, is the current uh, UK national record holder for solving uh, the normal cube as fast as you can. Um, George Scholli is not far behind. Fun quote for Chris. Yesterday, while he was competing, I got curry in my cube. It's, it's a fact. It's, it's here on my paper, so it must be true. So off they go. You can uh, see the rockets proceed all the way to the right. Dimitri looks to be ahead with one or two solved pieces. Yeah. Big pause for Chris. Yeah, he's looking for the pieces. This doesn't really look good. Well, they he's both are, probably aren't they? made a mistake because he's he, yeah, he's checking both of the cubes. Something must have happened because he's on his phone. Uh, maybe he didn't correctly scramble his second cube. I'm not really sure what happened there. But uh, Dimitri is also. Uh, I think something messed up yeah. there. Yeah. So we'll uh, have to take a step back and uh, see what uh, the judges say about this battle. Yeah, we'll see what happened there, because Chris uh, clearly going through his phone there, trying to piece together the uh, what exactly happened. It's, I'm not going to lie, it's just a blur, isn't it? It's a blur of hands. It's just incredible. Yeah, it is. Uh, for for Rescramble, you really do a lot more algorithms, uh, especially for the last layer, than you would use for uh, for normal solving. Uh, so the move count is higher, but the TPS is also higher, turns per second, which is uh, one of the statistics that you always see after a battle. Um, yeah, I think Chris really was surprised and confused about what happened afterwards, because uh, he was comparing their cubes, his cubes, and he was making sure that they were both uh, matched up, which certainly looked to be the case, uh, as far as I could see it. Um, so we'll uh, we'll wait about the uh, the answer from the judges. Well, I am uh, being told that it's been reset. It's back to one game apiece, uh, one battle apiece, and we're going to go back in again for that third and final battle. So yeah, little problem with the app there, some problem with the software, but we are back up and running. Both of the Cubers on one game each, and we're going into that third and final battle once again. So Chris Mills has another bite at the cherry here. Well, I know who won that uh, previous battle. It's the viewers, because we actually have another battle that we can enjoy here. Chris looking in his phone. He's probably just joining the room. Yeah. Turning off his headphones so he could not be disturbed. That is a good tactic. Some of the competitors during the seeding rounds were disturbed by uh, people coming in and out of the, the room there. So uh, taking off those headphones is certainly a good strategy. It turned off, but I'm gonna turn it back on. And I Let's just... Let's see what happens here. So well, they're neck and neck according to the rockets. Yeah, they really are. Both deep in it, looks like... No pauses yes. so far, so this is gonna be a close one. Yeah, Chris takes it. And look how much that means to him. <laughs> 
<laughs> he is stoked for that. Oh my god. That is really cool to see. Yeah, he is really happy about that. He's got. We're still trying to, to match the pattern. Did you see him? He, <laughs> he was <laughs> properly blown away by that. Well, that's what you like to see. That's what it's all about. It's not about taking part. It's about winning. No, I'm joking. Of course, it is just taking part. But there we go. <laughs> so Chris Mills up against uh, Ricky Myler. You could say surprise final. Well, I mean, not really. Like, Ricky certainly was one of the favorites to go into the finals. Manuel did seem to have an edge on him uh, based on the seeding results. Um, but yeah, Chris winning against uh, Dimitri, that really was a coin toss, in my opinion. And I'm happy for Chris uh, that he uh, advances to the finals. He was really anxious about what the rules would be because the programming of the app was only finished uh, a few weeks ago. So they were still not really in the know of uh, what was about to come. Um, and so, uh, yeah, really, uh, I'm happy for him that he made it to the finals. But first, of course, we're going to have the battle for the third place, where we're going to see Manuel again against Dimitri. So they're going to be uh, entering the rooms real quick while we are waiting for that. I think they're ready to go. So it is time then for the bronze medal final. So Manuel Gutman against oh. Dimitri and a skin. Okay. No, no. So I, I'm gonna say that uh, Manuel takes uh, revenge on himself for the bad times for him in the previous round, and uh, he's gonna show us uh, what he's capable of. Yeah. Um, I'm not even gonna. Yeah, I think he actually is uh, gonna do some sub 20 solves which uh, is definitely world-class for this event. All right, well, let's see. I like that. Take his anger out on the bronze medal matchup here. Yeah, he's on fire. Maybe he has some anger with him. <laughs> see if he can control that and uh, channel it towards something positive here. Right then. If you are just joining in... Rooms. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, if you are just joining in, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you might be joining in from. This is, of course, the Red Bull Rubik's Cube World Cup Finals 2020, live right now, connecting Cubers from all across the globe. And you can see Manuel Gutman from Argentina up against Dimitri Anaskin from Russia. That's right, and there couldn't be a better day than today, because today is the 40th anniversary of the Rubik's Cube. So if you want to tweet about this or anything else you see during these finals, be sure to use the hashtag Red Bull Rubik's. And of course, just get involved in the poll. Let us know who you think is going to win 50-50 right now between these guys. Yeah, both are uh, trying to keep their hands dry there. Having their towel there by their sides. Must be quite hot in Argentina. <laughs> well, yeah, they'll just be uh, just be heading spring, heading into summer. Haven't been there, unfortunately. I've never been to Argentina. Still on the list? Yeah. Mate, well, these, Maybe next year. Yeah, your competitions, these competitions are all over, so uh, there'll be plenty of scope to get down there. Right then, here we go. Yeah, both using uh, the option to use a second cube, although I do uh, can say for sure, because I've seen it, that Manuel is uh, really good without the second cube, just uh, by looking at the 2D pattern there. He uh, also pulled off some sub-20 solves uh, using that strategy. So you can really clearly see that he first solves all the corners, so the edges are still solved at this point. And now he's gonna start on his edges. Congratulations. And uh, yeah, he does, uh, he does uh, win it really good. Wow. Really good, Manuel there. It did look, he looked like he took a bit of a stall at one point. He had to reach that second cube. But uh, yeah, you called it. Yeah. So actually for his for the method that he uses, uh, he needs to pick up the second cube twice. So first he's gonna 
see where all the corners have to go. He memorizes that, memorizes that real quickly and then uh, all, just executes the, the algorithms that he has uh, memorized then. And then he has to pick up the second cube again to see where all the edges has to g have to go. And he memorizes the edges and then executes those. And uh, Dimitri really has to pick up the cube uh, more often after every step to see the next two or three pieces that he's solving where they have to go. These guys' brains just firing 75 times faster than what mine does on, on, <laughs> on my best day. <laughs> okay. They're currently 1 0 up in the best of three. Let's see if can Dimitri uh, can force the third battle here, or maybe uh, Manuel takes it home two to nothing. Or actually, like you said, he's already home. It's just an autom automated uh, phrase, I guess. <laughs> well, I'm just blown away by how quick these guys are smashing this. And Manuel, I think he's going to take it. Yes, he does. Wow! Look at the third time. place. There's that. That is really, really good. There's that sub twenty time that you were talking about, Eric. Yeah, he's uh, he's relieved. I think you can uh, you can definitely say that that he actually takes away something. And uh, I mean, a thousand dollars is uh, is nice uh, for anybody, right? Oh my goodness, not to be sniffed at at all. Um, commiserations, Dimitri Anaskin there. But uh, taking the bronze medal, and as you say, a thousand pounds, third place, it is Manuel Goodman as we go straight into the gold medal matchup then. Ricky Myler up against Chris Mills. So they both have been uh, practicing for hours and hours for this moment. Talked to both of the competitors beforehand, and they're uh, they're excited to to be here again. Hopefully next year we can uh, do it on site again, but this time they're doing it from their own homes, which uh, might be even better for their times because uh, it's a more uh, familiar environment. I certainly do better times at home. Um, but I really don't know how it would be like if it would uh, have so much for on the on the on the plate for for prize money. Well, you could see how much it meant to Chris Mills earlier on, um, just to make it through to these finals. So definitely a lot on the line and the pressure. And in fact, we've had a a nice comment in the chat: cubing in front of so many people has to make you super nervous. My respect to everyone competing. Absolutely so. I'll just know just how many. Yeah, keeping your uh, keeping your cool really is a big part of, uh, of of cubing. I know many cubers that are really fast, but then tend to uh, to mess up a little bit under pressure. And then there are other people who uh, can withstand the pressure really well. And uh, both of these uh, athletes have, of course, uh, much experience in uh, in these kind of situations, especially Chris. Because the UK competitions are always packed with people, so if you would uh, rent out a room with uh, 600 people, they would be able to fill it normally. So off they go. Both use the CFOP method uh, for solving, although the last layer is, of course, divided in a few more sub-steps than you would normally have. You can always see the rockets to see uh, how many pieces are solved, so Chris certainly looks to be ahead. Ricky comparing some pieces there Chris as well yeah. yeah and he takes it Chris takes it a little nod of the head there just to uh, reaffirm it to himself so Chris draws first blood Chris actually ahead in the pole as well you lot watching you think that Chris has got this 
Chris is a uh, Chris is a well-known Cuber in the UK, which might uh, explain the polls. But of course, Ricky is a is a real specialist here. Uh, Ricky Myler, who uh, tried to do a backflip out of nothing uh, from a bench when we were traveling in the US. Uh, he did manage to land it, but then, of course, uh, he, he sprained uh, a muscle there. So next time we were out in the city, he couldn't even join. But uh, we do have a video of that. Well, I think we should, uh, we should maybe look at that once this is all over. And let's just... Uh... <laughs> so, Ricky against Chris. Chris has drawn first blood. This is the re-scramble gold medal matchup here. These guys getting uh, 15 seconds to take a look at this scramble. And then all hell will break loose as they try and mix their cubes up to match that scramble. All right, off they go. Chris seems to be ahead because he uh, turned his second cube a little bit before Ricky does. So if they would use exactly the same strategy for that, this is ahead. Looks like it. Yeah, <laughs> was, he takes it. I was waiting for the jump up. There he goes. You watch. You don't stub your toe on your uh, cupboard there, Chris. You can see you're not wearing any shoes, and he's absolutely blown away by that. <laughs> Wow, that means that uh, Ricky is dethroned as the back-to-back -back World Cup uh, champion, actually. And Chris is our new champion for this uh, for this special game mode. So kudos for Chris. Yeah, absolutely. Kudos to Chris. Um, let's take a look at the podium then for re-scramble here. Third place, we've got Manuel Goodman in Argentina. Second, still... On the cube, it is Ricky Myler. And first place then, Chris Mills out of the UK with a little wave to his mom, no doubt, watching downstairs on the television. Uh, Chris, how you doing, dude? Congratulations. You're the re-scramble champion. How you feeling? I I don't know what just happened. I, I came into this, uh, <laughs> this semi-final as, like, maybe hoping to get second. Like, I was like, it would be really good if I could manage to get that. So I guess... Having already made that goal, I just didn't have any nerves in the final, so it just meant I could solve at my, my peak performance and actually manage to win. Wow, Chris, uh, congratulations. Uh, can you maybe talk us through a little bit uh, of your last solve? Uh, you seemed uh, to be turning um, your second cube a little bit earlier than uh, Ricky did the first rotation, so at that point it looked like you were ahead. Is that true? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I, I just uh, scrambled the cube, put my hand over it like we agreed, and uh, I somehow managed to just turn perfectly. Um, I had a pretty good idea of what I was going to do, and uh, didn't make any mistakes in that final solve and got one of my best solves I've ever got in competition or just at home as well. Uh, well, it was brilliant. And I can, you, you can tell by the way you jumped up how much it meant to you. So huge congr congratulations. I've just heard the phone go downstairs. So no, no doubt that's your aunt or your uncle. They're watching. They want a phone to congratulate you. A huge well done for everybody. Uh, yeah. Chris Mills, you are the re-scramble champion 2020. Well done. Thank you. Oh, that was good. That was good. He was properly pumped to that, wasn't he? Yeah, he, that was really exciting. He was not on uh, my top two for uh, for winning this. Maybe at the, at the third choice, but uh, he certainly deserved it. No doubt about that. He uh, clearly beat his opponents uh, on these battles, especially the last battle was uh, superb, where uh, he just went on and on and on without pausing. So that's what it takes to win. Mate, you've, the, as you've been trying to teach me these past couple of days, it's about keeping the turns going, isn't it? Keeping it smooth. That's what you tell me. So uh, that's the way to a quick solve. Yeah, that's right. If you want to become faster, uh, of course, one way is to use less turns or turn faster. But uh, even a better way is to just reduce the amount of pauses you have between your turns. So uh, if you're still trying to improve on cubing, try to uh, decrease your pauses. There you go, kids. Listen to Yoda. He knows what he's talking about. And I don't mean that because you look old, by the way, Eric. OK, let's move into the next of our game modes. It's here we go. This is a good one. It is female speed cubing. Here we go.